So some people think that Twitter's gonna die just because Elon Musk is firing a lot of Twitter employees. Like, don't get me wrong, firing a lot of people, if they were doing things, it would matter, right? But in most tech companies, most people don't do anything. Like anyone who's worked from home already knows that a lot. Like people will say like, oh, I'm so much more productive when I work from, dude, you're like playing games or like you're working from like uh, Aruba or something like that, you know? It's like no one's actually doing that much when they're working from home. Like, trust me, like, all my friends do this. I've done it in the past as well. And holy cow, like, <laughs> you can't tell me you actually do more work when you work from home. It's like, tech companies have, like, they do so much, right? And most of the work is, like, automated, and they already did things before. Think about it. Twitter's an application, and it does things, and most of it is automatic. If someone comes in sick that day, like, it's not going to end the company, and it's more than that, right? Because I get it, like some people, they are working on like essential functions, but there's backup plans for that. People always say like, oh, at a corporation, you're replaceable. So like, keep that in mind. But then when this happens, they're like, oh no, everyone's essential. Like this, the thing cannot function without half its employees or however many people they're fired. No, like you're really not essential. So just stick to one thing or the other. Don't try to like get the best of both worlds here. You know, like, no, people are useless and replaceable and that's why Twitter's not going to crash like if the servers go down like if someone just stops paying for their servers or something like that or they like light all their servers on fire then yeah Twitter's going to go down but if the servers are fine they're being paid for it's fine like does Twitter even run their own servers or do they contract it out to like Amazon or something like that like dude the site's still going to be up People just don't understand this. Fun fact, anyone else notice that the most critical people of Twitter or all the people who have like these viral tweets that are like shitting on Twitter, you look at their profiles and it's always like reporter at CNN. It's all always reporters, it doesn't have to be CNN, it could be literally any other media company. But dude, reporters just hate it because they know that they don't have any actual influence on the world, it's just their companies that do. And essentially they're just pissed about the whole checkmark thing. Because they give out checkmarks for news reporters out like candy, and letting everyone get one, like it just makes them not special anymore. The only people that hate the new checkmark rule are people who already had checkmarks who can't afford them. And people are also laughing at Elon because they're like, oh, like he paid $44 billion and now he's firing everyone to pay them severance. You know how hard it is to get fired in the US at these companies? It's very difficult. That's why people have severance and that's why people don't care about paying the cost because that's how much useless space these employees are. They're getting paid like 200K a year for doing almost nothing, right? All my work from home friends they, they, at big tech companies, they all do this. They, they barely do any work and they make 200 to 300K, sometimes more if they're like higher up. But for the young people, you know, like we're under 30 still. Uh, even though I only have one more year of under 30, it's still gonna be like that. But yeah, like people just have no idea how the world works, which is actually scary to me. It's like, one, you're not essential. Two, firing people, if they are actually useless, it's worth paying the severance because think about it, you pay three months salary or whatever it is for them to stop working or you keep paying them 200K a year and they produce very mediocre results, not only this year, but in all the following years after that. And they're probably gonna ask for raises as well. Like it's pretty no brainer to just fire people who are actually useless. And I'm not even a big Elon Musk fan. Like it's just, I just know how these types of businesses work. A lot of people don't even know how Twitter works. Like. Holy cow, it's at the end of the day, it's just a website, you know? It's nothing like, uh, they're not like reliant on that many things. It's literally a website. And I mean, I'm a website owner too. Like if I die or something like that, the site's still gonna be up as long as my credit card doesn't get canceled. Obviously Twitter's more complicated than that, but essentially it's like the same thing. There might not be new content on there because my website's essentially a blog, but Twitter's user-generated content. So as long as the users are still there, it's still gonna be used. So yeah, I just need to get that off my chest because holy cow, so many bad takes on like people actually thinking Twitter's gonna get taken down and it's just not the case. You guys feel free to quote this video if I am wrong and on Monday everything crashes and burns or it could be tomorrow, I don't really know. If it does happen, let's say in the 0.01%, even lower than that chance that it does crash, it would likely be from someone trying to sabotage it for fun. Like that could be the only reason. If no one's sabotaging it, let's say it wasn't Elon Musk doing this whole thing because a lot of people hate him. Let's say the old Twitter ownership, they decide to lay off all their employees, just like how every other fucking tech company is doing right now. 
no one would be saying Twitter's going to get shut down. Like, it just, like, every, Facebook would be shut down then. Like, every company, every tech company right now is firing people en masse. So it's like, yeah, like, how is Twitter any different? But just trying to get that off my chest because I'm so sick of these bad takes. Also, holy cow, I'm looking at my face right now. There's so many marks on it and stuff. Like, I use, like, a new skincare product. I don't know if my skin's reacting badly to it. Any experts, feel free to let me know about that down in the comments below.